The goal of this project is to understand how to build computing systems that can see, hear, interact, reason in a way that they can understand surroundings, people, uh, social settings, and engage in fluid conversations with one or more people, uh, just as another person would. These systems um, draw upon a large number of areas in computer science, you know, um, things like uh, obviously all the sensing going on, vision and speech recognition, and the higher level processing like natural language understanding and dialogue. There's a lot of machine learning and planning, you know, there's a lot of AI technology. We have an opportunity with this integrative AI project to bring together um, projects that we've done in a standalone manner over the last 10 years. Um, each of which was a separate area of research. The elevator is in a region of the lobby area of our building um, where most people can't really tell whether someone would want the elevator or to walk past the elevator. And people can even walk very closely to the elevator and not want the elevator. So simple sensors would not work very well. We needed more of a sophisticated approach to telegraphing uh, someone's intentions in advance and taking action on their behalf. We, we learn to anticipate, uh, based on how the scene looks like, when this button that calls the elevator will be pushed. And we learn to predict that about three seconds ahead of time. Um, so then, you know, the camera just sees these patterns. Um, it actually relies just on a simple background subtraction in some sense. Like, it, it just sees the silhouettes of blobs moving into the scene. And based on mm -hmm. that information, it, it can anticipate this button will be pushed or this button will not be pushed. We use this common framework across these systems that look at some of the same problems but in different settings. It, it lets us sort of identify in time what are the commonalities here, what are the really core bits, the core competencies that we need to have in place to generalize across these settings, to be able to do systems that, that can work well in a variety of settings with people. Do you need directions? Yes. Who or what are you looking for? Eric Horvitz. The task of the directions robot is very interesting and it highlights the notion of situatedness. Right. The notion of pointing directions in a physical space, understanding where the viewer is and the viewer's perspective on what directions mean, understanding what it means to say you're right or on your left. The robot can track multiple participants so it can track and understand where people are, how far they are. Um, it understands their trajectories and it reasons about that, reason about engagement, which is a basic process that we actually don't think much when we interact, but that happens all the time. How do I know I'm still in this conversation with you? A machine will need to reason about all that, and we communicate that with various kinds of signals, with how fast I'm approaching you, am I paying attention in that direction or somewhere else? So we're trying with sensors using camera and you know the sound source, localization information, and all the different kinds of sensors we have. We're trying to make inferences um, about these aspects. An expert uh, uh, executive administrator working on behalf of, of someone understands over time the nuances of whether somebody is interruptible or not. Hi. I was expecting you. The robot told me you were coming. Are you here looking for Eric? Yes. This one really integrates a lot of different knowledge sources. It draws upon a lot of work that has been done in the past here by Eric and others on uh, building inference models and predictive models. Um, so it knows, for instance, about Eric's availability. It knows to predict uh, will he uh, uh, likely be reading his email in the next hour or so. So we have all these interesting different streams of information. And we're trying to integrate all of these together. Each of these systems that we've built and experimented with uh, let us sort of investigate the boundaries in the state of the art and kind of try and push against that in different areas. And in some ways, each of them highlight different aspects. So for instance, uh, with respect to the situated aspects of the project, to, the, uh, to this idea that machines uh, will understand better what happens with people in physical space and the dynamics of all the human interaction, getting machines to understand the sort of subtleties of the way people behave and interact in these different settings, is, it's also an interesting, exciting space. We see uh, the vision of where we're going. We see some of the challenges along the way. It's very exciting research. Um, we think we'll make great progress, and uh, I'm certain that these technologies will be ubiquitous someday.